after the dreadful season seven, season eight starts off with a bang in the form of a crossover named Armageddon. And last night, the final episode in Armageddon aired. So today, I thought it was time for me to stop and review the new Arrowverse crossover Armageddon. Please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. My name is S Dub Nation, and you are free to comment down below your very own opinion on the Flash season eight so far, as well as this overall crossover Armageddon. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Comment all that down below. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter. It's gonna pop up on your screen right now. And also, don't forget to check out that Arrowverse playlist. That link is gonna pop up up above. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into our review. Also, spoilers for the entire crossover, by the way. My name is Barry Allen, and I'm about to do something impossible. I came a long way to find you, Flash. Now that I have, I'm going to end your existence. After we got word that Season 8 was going to be starting with a crossover, I instantly got stoked. We were going to be seeing new characters come into the fold, as well as seeing returning characters. So, let's move right into the good. And the good thing that comes to mind here is that this mini crossover certainly felt like a graphic novel. The showrunner Eric Wallace constantly talked about the newer seasons, I would say season 6 through now, as multiple graphic novel stories in one season. And I really do like that strategy, it just hasn't been handled as well as it was inside of season 6, and as well as it's going inside of season 8 as it did with season seven season seven the graphic novel story just did not work for me that is the worst season in my opinion but i actually like the format of taking stories from graphic novels or from the comics and having one of them in the beginning of the season and have that bleed into the last half of the season i think that works but going back into the good i definitely think that the graphic novel strategy works better here than it did inside of season seven like i said before having many crossovers with different characters like black lightning and mia queen made this event feel like an actual arrowverse crossover just smaller and that's another positive while it has all the stakes and the marketing of a world ending event is fairly contained with its own story the Flash is finally at full speed, and that's what I was most excited about going inside of Season 8. After Season 7, they finally revealed that Barry is at full speed, he's faster than Thon, he's the fastest man alive now, and he's finally going to be more confident, he's going to have more trust in his powers. I loved all of that, and from the jump, we get that. We get a more confident Barry, we get a more leader-like Barry, we get a more powerful Barry... We get a more cocky Barry at that, but also we get a, a, a Barry that's just cool. A Barry that's just badass, in my opinion. And I, I just think that this mini crossover, seeing the Flash use his speed and be the leader, was just so refreshing and a huge palate cleanser from Season 7. The twists and turns this crossover takes us on is just so much fun to see, and it felt like finally... They are getting back to what made the show great in the first two seasons. Barry using his speed and not the pep talks of side characters we met two years ago and not the constant talk your way out of a fight problem season seven had. But this crossover isn't without its negative, so let's move right into the mixed. And the mixed thing that comes to mind here is that Despero as a villain was meh for me. While I enjoyed his ruthlessness and CGI form, his villain side, I really did like. Him trying to be a sympathetic villain though, didn't work for me. Despero is the true villain of the crossover, and honestly, I expected that going into it until Thon became the villain. I really wanted to see Thon return as a full season villain, and have him try to get faster throughout the season, like a Thon-focused season with Barry being the quote-unquote villain, I think that could have been an awesome contrast to season one. Having Thon go through the trials and tribulations of trying to get faster than Barry, and then having that bleed into season nine, and then just having that bleed into season 10 if they ever get to it, I think that could have been very cool to have a Thon-focused season for once, and just, you know, take out all the other Flash characters, keep Barry, 
because it's his show. Keep Barry, but have Thon be the focus of this season. I think that could have worked, honestly, here. Episode 4 of this crossover, in my opinion, was the worst of the event. And it's not the worst of the series. It's not worse than Season 7 as a whole. This episode is better than Season 7 as a whole. Probably even better than Season 5 as a whole. Or even Season 3. I definitely do think that this is the worst episode, though. Once everything is revealed, I started to wonder, okay, this is fine. Now what else? Okay, what is there anything else to this? And really, I, I just found that whole Iris finding reverse Flash, who in this universe is Barry Allen, is, is our Barry, is Grant Gustin, but just as reverse Flash. Even after Thawne changed the timeline, I found it weird that Iris still loved Barry when Barry was reverse Flash in this universe. It's crazy that Iris just, in one episode, changes up that quickly. And it's just written off as the power of love and her connection with him and the Speed Force. Hopefully they stop doing something like that because they did the exact same thing in Elseworlds. I really would have liked to see them explore this world a little bit more. I wish this more. I wish this world was more lived in so then Barry could actually get to Iris. But instead we were on a time schedule because once the timeline sets, Barry Allen was going to disappear. Compared to the other episodes, though, it's just not up there with them. I really wanted more from the crossover characters also. Ones like Ryan Choi, Chill Blaine, and Batwoman just felt unneeded. And I was very excited for Batwoman. I w that was my most excited character to see inside of this, Batwoman. Because I really do like Season 2. Season 3, I haven't caught up yet, but I am enjoying Season 3. Characters like Black Lightning and Damian Dark, though, helped out and were central to the plot. But other characters, not so much. The quote-unquote crossover event was cool, but when it came down to the fourth episode, I felt it wasn't as great as episodes 1 through 3 and episode 5, the finale. But as a house cleaning rule, when I say mixed, they're not bad things, essentially. They're definitely not good things, essentially. They're just some things that I'm kind of confused on, how I feel about it, as well as something I wanted to talk about. In conclusion, Armageddon was a great crossover worthy of the great title. We had some fun interactions, closed off some great character arcs like Damian Dark, and showcased what the Flash can actually do and what the Flash can actually be if you don't give him a pep talk every episode and have him pep talk his way out of fighting a villain. Also, we finally got the gold boots. His suit is complete now. I can't wait. I can't wait for the rest of season 8. For me, Armageddon is an A and a 9.1 out of 10. On a, As a crossover, 9.1 out of 10. Definitely a fantastic turnaround and a great start to season 8. Alright guys, that was it for the review. Please know that everything that I did say in this video is just my very own opinion. And you are free to comment down below what did you think of the Armageddon crossover as well as season 8 so far. Are you excited for the rest of the season? Comment all of that down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter. It's going to pop up on your screen right now. And also don't forget to check out that Arrowverse playlist. That link is always in the description on Arrowverse content. Like, comment, and subscribe guys. Come back tomorrow for all Arrowverse crossovers ranked, and I will see you all next time. Peace.